You know that moment when you realize you missed the boat just because you didn't act? You see their friends who jumped on something early, and now they're riding high while you're left wondering what if. Well, stick with me for the next few minutes because we're diving into a story that could give you that kind of regret avoider feeling. And that story starts at one dollar and races toward one hundred. It's about robotics. It's about AI. It's about the stocks that are quietly setting up to explode and... Yes, you want to meet them before everyone else does. Picture this. A company trading for a buck or two, operating mostly under the radar. Well, behind the scenes, the robotics revolution is not just happening. And if you're the kind of investor who loves getting ahead of the curve, you're going to want to hear this. Because this isn't about hype. It's about real change. Real data. Real opportunity. Now, I'm going to walk you through how the robotics world is transforming and then how certain stocks at the $1 to $100 range could ride that wave. We'll explore the stats, the trends, the big companies, and the underdogs. Ella will get emotional about the fear of missing out and the thrill of being first in by the end. You LL have actionable thought ideas for how to position yourself. So let's jump in. So first, what's going on with robotics? The world is shifting from robots or four sci-fi movies to robots are part of everyday business. The global robotics technology market was estimated at about 72 billion United States dollars in 2022 and is projected to surpass roughly US 283 billion dollars by 2032, growing at a compound annual growth rate of roughly 14.7%. But it gets really interesting when you look at how the robotics revolution is fueled by AI, industrial automation, logistics, healthcare, and even the home. For example, collaborative robots, cobots, robots designed to work with humans are projected to explode. One research item found the cobot sales volume is projected to increase by 6,100% between 2025 and 2045. An innovation in AI plus robots means robots aren't simple machines anymore. They can sense, they can adapt, they can learn. Now, here's where it gets interesting. If the world is moving fast into robotics, the question becomes who are the companies positioned to benefit and who among them might be flying under the radar, starting at a low share price on DY up. Because this is where early investors can find the outsized winners and where the fear of being too late kicks in. Let me give you a couple of examples to set the stage. One company in the robotics automation trend, just broadly referenced, is Serve Robotics. According to analyses, its revenue for 2025 could reach around US $6.8 million, a 275% jump versus 2024. The idea, the market expects a rapid velocity of growth. Another one, the overall robotics stock space is loaded with names like NVIDIA, ABB, Intuitive Surgical, and more. So this is not Weber, it's tangible, but it's not all about the big names. The narrative that excites me is the $1 to $100 stock story, meaning companies that are at a low base now, with a large runway ahead, where the risk is higher, but the potential upside is meaningful. Wenju, we are $1 to $100. You imagine a stock price near the bottom, catching the wave, Ending up a historic winner. That memory moment of, I wish I bought it when it was cheap, is powerful. Emotionally, I want you to feel that hunger the kind of, what if I jumped in early hunger? Because when you look at robotics and AI, you realize that the revolution isn't distant, it's now. Factories installing cobots, hospitals using robotic surgical systems, warehouses deploying autonomous robots, logistics companies experimenting with delivery drones and bots. When you catch a wave like that early, the payoff can be enormous and... Conversely, if you wait too long, you'll just watch it pass by. Imagine, in five years, looking back and saying, I recognize the robotics boom, but I waited. That feeling stings. Let's make sure you're on the right side in time. All right, so how do you formulate the story? Step by step. Step one. Understand the megatrends. We've already covered how robotics is growing. But let me underscore. The integration of AI into robots means robots are smarter, more capable, more adaptable. As one article puts it, robots that physically move 
lift, and assembled products are estimated to represent a 130 billion United States dollars opportunity by 2035. Split between tilde US $38 billion in humanoid robots and tilde US $94 billion in industrial systems. Step 2. Identify the kinds of companies that can benefit. There are a few categories. The semiconductor AI engine companies, Thing GPUs, Vision Systems, Senses the Hardware, Machine Builders, Robot Arms, Logistics Bots, The Integrator Software Firms, AI, Plus Robotics Workflow Software, The Service Robots, Humanoids, Consumer Robots, Each has different risk-reward profiles. A big company has lower risk but possibly lower upside. A small or undervalued company has higher risk but higher potential. Step 3. Spot the underdogs or low bass stocks. These are the ones priced low, with enough runway, good technology, some credible backing, but not fully recognized yet. That's where the $1 to $100 story comes in. You're hoping for something like, buy at $1, $10, see meaningful growth, ride toward $100, if everything lines up. It's ambitious, but... Hey, that's what makes the hunting exciting. Step 4. Manage risk. Because yes, the miracle stories exist, but so do the failures. Robots can be overhyped. Some companies will lose out. Technologies might stumble. Valuations can collapse. Remember the hype versus reality issue, so you don't bet everything. You invest with awareness and patience. Step 5. Time matters. The sooner you act before the mainstream recognizes the trend, the better your odds of a meaningful return. If you wait until everyone is talking about it, the low-hanging fruit will be gone. The feeling of late coma regret is real. Here is a narrative I want you to imagine. You re an investor in early 2025. You buy a small robotics company at $5. You believe the robotics plus AI wave is massive. The company executes, gets a major contract, improves its margin, deploys robots into logistics or healthcare, gains brand recognition. Over three to five years, the market rewards it. You're looking at a potential 10 to 20x, return maybe more. Meanwhile, others rushed in too late and paid $50 for the same kind of story on, maybe got only 2 to 3x. You avoided that trap. Contrast that with the emotion of doing nothing. You watch a sibling or a friend grab in, ride up. You wonder why. Didn't I act? That's why the emotional side matters. Because investing isn't just numbers, it's mindset. It's about the stories you tell yourself. It's about believing in tomorrow. So when you look at the robotic stock story, I want you to feel the excitement. I'm part of something transformational. Because that energy when, combined with discipline, is a powerful driver. Now, how do you make this real in practice? Here's some guiding criteria to evaluate the potentia. $1 to $100 robotic stock. 1. Technology. Edge. Does the company have something that others don't? A sense of innovation. Software advantage. Cost leadership. Partnership network. 2. Market size. Are they addressing a large or exploding segment, for example? Warehouse automation. Surgical robots. Delivery robots. Tres. Tres. Execution and traction. Are there contracts? Pilot deployments? Revenue? Growth? Hype isn't enough. Evidence matters. 4. Valuation and base price. A low base price gives you more upside. But remember, cheap is not enough you. Still need the story. 5. Risk management. Is there cash runway? Reasonable burn rate? Manageable competition? And technological risk? 6. Timing. Are you early enough in the cycle? Are you getting in before mass recognition? 7. Portfolio perspective. You might have a few of these ideas, but you won't bet the farm on one. When you apply those filters, you'll start to see which names might qualify. Now be clear. I am not here to tell you by this one now at dollar X. You should do your own research, consider your risk tolerance, your geographic, tax, regulatory context, your watching from Pakistan. After all your portfolio size, but what I am telling you is, 
These criteria give you a map. Let me stir the emotional pot a little bit. Imagine looking back 10 years from now and saying, I was one of the early investors in the robotics revolution. I knew this story. I believed it. I acted. My portfolio got exposure. My life changed. That's not fantasy. That can be real when you're aligned with a major technological wave. And robotics plus AI is that wave. But flip the coin. Imagine you let fear or inertia stop you. You watched the headlines. You said maybe next year. And year after year you waited. Then you see competitors, peers, others who did act and they're living the story you should have lived. That sting, that's what drives regret. And it's avoidable. So I want you to feel both sides. The thrill of possibility and the pain of regret. If you don't act, use that tension as fuel. Let's paint a mini case sketch to bring this alive. Let's call our target company Robot Co. Hypothetical priced at $3 today. Robot Co. builds cobots for small mid-sized warehouses. They have a partnership with a major logistics company. They have a patent on a low-cost vision system. They're still ramping revenue but have positive press and pilot customers. You decide to buy at $3. Over the next 24 months, the global warehouse automation wave accelerates. Supply chain disruption pushes adoption. Robot Co. signs three major contracts. Revenue grows 5x. The market recognizes the company and the stock raises $2.30. Eerie looking at almost 10x life changing for many. Now multiply that by a handful of such ideas in your portfolio and you've created real optionality. Now double that idea. What if Robico is bought by a larger automation player or expands into new sectors like surgical robots or delivery robots? Blowout scenarios exist. That's why. The story excites me. That's why. Two, you feel the FOMO of, what if I miss this one? But caution. Suppose Robico runs out of cash, fails to scale. Competitors beat them. Then, Jew lows. That's why having risk controls, diversification, stop loss mentality, or size limits matters. High reward comes with high risk. Now let's talk about timing and psychology. When companies are cheap, either the market hasn't recognized them, or there's a reason they carry risk. You must ask, am I paying for the downside? Am I okay with the worst case scenario? Because investing in early stage robotics stocks is more like venture capital than blue chip holding. So you need to allocate accordingly. Also, the psychology. Avoid the buying high trap. Many think robotics sounds hot, and they jump after the stock is already at $40, $50. That's not the $1 to $100 story that Esther. Maybe I'll lose out, but I'll still buy story. The sweet spot is entering early when few others are paying attention. Equally important is patience. These stories don't always explode overnight. Sometimes they slog. You need mental endurance to hold when things don't go up quickly because the risk of quitting early is real. Many promising companies stall. Many markets take longer than expected, but if you believe in the wave, you'll hold through the turbulence. I also want to bring in a little historical context. Think of past technology. Booms computing, internet, mobile, cloud. The early investors who got in before the mainstream often made outsized gains. The ones who waited until everyone is talking about it mostly got average returns. We're observing that pattern in robotics AI now. The infrastructure, hardware, soft roll coming together, and emerging markets, labor shortages, supply chain pressures are pushing robotics adoption faster than ever. Warehouses want efficiency, labor is expensive, AI is smarter. It's a perfect storm for robotics growth. So to sum up what you're walking away with, robotics plus AI is a massive megatrend with real numbers behind it. There are companies starting small, priced low, with the potential for major growth, if they execute, you want to find the $1 to $100 stock stories, the early stage opportunities with big upside, but you must combine that with discipline, risk management, patience, criteria, timing, and psychology. Emotionally, you should feel excited, but also alert to risk. You should feel that hunger to participate early, and you should feel the regret avoidance motivating you to act wisely, not haphazardly.
Let's bring this video to a close with a strong call to action. If you found this story valuable if you feel the excitement building then, here's what I want you to do. One, like this video. It helps me know you want more deep dives like this. Dos, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss my future stock stories, robotics deep dives, AI investing breakdowns. Three, comment below. What robotics or AI enabled stock are you watching? Maybe you already see one at the $1, $10 level. Share it. Engage with others. Let's build a community of smart investors. Four. Finally do your homework. Use the criteria we discussed. Don't try to find the perfect stock in 15 minutes. Give it time. Analyze. Stay patient. Thank you so much for watching. If you believe in the robotics revolution and you believe you could get in early this, could be the story. You tell five or ten years from now. I got in when the world was just waking up. Get inspired, act responsibly, and I'll see you in the next video.